Welcome to the video, you guys. We've got a fun, packed day today. I'm gonna head to Home Depot and grab some lumber. You're gonna come with me, and I'm gonna build our workbench out in the shop. I hope I can get it all done. We've got a, a really fun uh, local 4th of July kind of tradition event that happens up here in Ogden Valley. It's just a good time, good barbecue, there's a little concert. This is a good day to get a vlog in. We got a lot of fun stuff happening, so I'm bringing you with me, whether you like it or not. All right, let's go to Home Depot. I had to make a quick trip up to my parents so I could borrow their trailer to put all the lumber in, but I was just thinking about it. I really don't mind the detours when you get to drive past some of the most incredible views in northern Utah, going back and forth. We're very lucky to live where we live. All of the little trips we make to the gym, to the post office, to my parents, we get to just soak up this incredible, beautiful setting that we live in. It's just, life's good. Let's go hook up that trailer. I got my crew here with me. Indy, what are you building? That's gonna be a colorful house. Okay, you build that house and I'm gonna build a workbench. What are you gonna build? Okay. Building this thing four by eight, which is kind of nice because it's gonna be the full length of most of this lumber, including my topper right here. So I don't even have to cut that. So that's the top, that's the bottom, just to see how much wood I would need. I don't know, should give a pretty good idea of what I'm going for here. And you got our very own digital high-end HD, shoots in 4K, full-frame sensor camera. Can you take all those good pictures? Okay, I got everything cut to length. I'm gonna lay it out and set it up exactly how I want it. Yeah, so I'm just gonna get everything in place, throw some grabber screws in it, flip it upside down, and then do the same thing for the bottom. And uh, hopefully it'll go by pretty quick. It's not quite done. I still have to put the piece on the bottom, the, the sheeting on the bottom to cover up the supports, but it's super solid. It's got this beautiful birch top. Wheel it around. Oh yeah. Oh, I love it. I've been wanting a workbench like this for a long time. And it wasn't that hard to build. About a hundred dollars in materials. Would have been a whole lot cheaper if it weren't for those casters. Those were like 10 bucks a piece. So it would have been around 50, 60 bucks to build if it weren't for those, but I would happily keep going, but we're going to that 4th of July party and I gotta wrap it up so I can shower, get clean. So, I'll see you there. Okay, we stopped to get some dinner at Indy's favorite place, huh? The GV and Haven? I was kind of bummed out we missed the flag ceremony. Do you remember that last year? Someone sings the national anthem and we say the Pledge of Allegiance and all the military guys get up there. It's kind of the epitome of the 4th of July and we missed it. Camel? It's just in that barn? What does a camel say? <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, we're looking for a camel. Oh, it's alpaca. Wait, is it or a llama? I don't know. Dude, camels. Ammo, that's it. What was your favorite part of the day? I don't know. How about dancing with your cousins? You're a good dancer. That's it, you guys. Thanks for watching, and happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. <laughs> that's not cute. I don't know what it is. Oh, you need it unlocked or something? Yes. Okay. Okay, really quick, I couldn't end this video without showing you the finished product. So I came out this morning and finished it up. This is the perfect workbench for a leather shop. It's just big enough that you can roll a whole hide out onto, cut out straps or whatever without having the, the hide hang off the edge. That's always a big struggle. So it's four by eight. I custom ordered this cutting mat right here and you can tell it's trying to roll up on me that's why it looks kind of bumpy on the edges so I tacked it down and um, this stuff is really nice I'll put a link in the description where I ordered it because you can custom order it any size that you want for your workbench so that's it I'm really happy with it this was one of the last big moves we needed to make to be functional in here so we've got a workbench everything else is just gonna be about setting up an organization still have no organization yet also one more thing before we go I just have to say thank you so much for the comments on the last video of the giveaway. Whit and I have just been floored. Just so humbled and grateful for all those comments, the encouraging, inspiring words you guys left. 
It really meant a lot. I didn't expect those kind of comments to come out of that. To, and uh, you guys just blew me away. And you guys have been so helpful to me more than you know. So thank you so much. That's it for this video. That's the last thing I'm saying. Thank you guys for watching. Happy 4th of July. Yeah.